Imagine waking up to find the world has flipped upside down. The land is now underwater, and the ocean floor is the new land. Big cities like New York and Tokyo are now deep underwater, while the deepest parts of the ocean are now the highest mountains. This sudden change would cause huge waves to crash into cities, turning them into underwater ruins. The old seafloor, now exposed, would become a dangerous wasteland, releasing trapped gases and awakening ancient germs that haven't seen sunlight for millions of years. If we only had a few hours to get ready for this crazy situation, what would we do? Today's climate problems. While this idea seems like something from a movie, our planet is already changing in big ways. Climate change is making sea levels rise faster and faster. Big coastal cities like Miami and Shanghai are already fighting against rising waters. Some experts think parts of these cities might become unlivable in our lifetime. If we got a warning about a big disaster coming soon, would we finally work together to do something about it? Or would we keep ignoring the problem like we often do with climate change? Cities underwater. Think about how different the world would look if most of the land was underwater. About 80% of the land we know would disappear beneath the waves. The middle parts of continents like Asia and Africa would become shallow seas, while the deepest ocean trenches might become the new mountains. This new world map would force us to completely rethink how and where we live. Trying to survive. In the chaos after this big change, people would try to survive in different ways. People living in coastal cities might try to stay alive on makeshift rafts made from whatever they can find. People living inland might find themselves stuck on new islands that used to be mountaintops. Many would try to reach the new shorelines, but it would be very dangerous, and there wouldn't be any houses, roads, or supplies waiting for them when they got there. Animals in trouble. This change would be terrible for most animals. Sea creatures like fish and whales would die quickly as their homes dried up. Land animals would struggle to live on the old seafloor, which would be very different from the land they know. Some animals might find safe spots for a while, but many species would die out because their food sources would be gone. Surprising survivors in new dangers. Some creatures might do better than others in this new world. Frogs and other animals that can live both in water and on land might become the most common animals. Bugs, especially those that start their lives in water, would grow in huge numbers. This could spread diseases we thought we had gotten rid of. Most worrying of all, very old germs that have been frozen in ice or trapped at the bottom of the sea for millions of years might wake up. These could be very dangerous because our bodies wouldn't know how to fight them. No more electricity. With power plants and electrical wires underwater, most of the world would lose electricity. This would cause big problems for hospitals, food storage, and communication. People would need to find new ways to make energy, maybe by using old ideas like water wheels or coming up with new ones that work in a water-covered world. Finding food and water. Getting enough food and clean water would be the biggest challenge. Most farmland would be underwater, so growing food the usual way would be impossible. People might start growing seaweed and fish in small underwater farms. Making fresh water from seawater would become very important. People might have to eat things they're not used to, like insects or deep sea creatures we don't normally think of as food. Extreme weather changes. The weather would change in big and unpredictable ways. The old seafloor, now exposed to air, might release a lot of gases that could make the earth heat up even faster. On the other hand, the new high mountains and old ocean trenches might collect a lot of ice and snow, possibly leading to a new ice age. Huge storms, bigger than any we've seen before, might sweep across the new oceans, making it hard to travel or build new homes. Building a new world. Starting over in this changed world would be incredibly hard and would require new ideas and teamwork. People might build floating cities using parts of sunken towns. 
They might also dig homes into the old seafloor. With the usual building materials hard to find, people would need to invent new ones, maybe using stuff found on the old ocean bottom. Everything about how we live, from how we govern ourselves to how we learn, would need to change to fit this new water-filled world. Humans adapting. As people get used to this new reality, what it means to be human might change. We might use science to change our bodies to live better in a water world. This could lead to different types of humans adapting to different environments. The shared experience of surviving such a big disaster might bring people together, or it might make them fight over the few resources left. At Think Beyond, we challenge you to explore the unthinkable and prepare for the unexpected. Subscribe now to keep pushing the boundaries of imagination. Until next time, keep thinking beyond the ordinary.